Um, my name is Jason Graham Nye, and I'm in the Sydney Pacific chapter of YPO, and I joined YPO in 2011. So my wife and I are founders of our company, and we'd come into business from very different realms. I was a high school teacher, and my wife came from nonprofits. And uh, as the business grew, we just we realised we needed, we wanted ongoing sort of support, mentorship from people who travelled the road we were travelling on. So GDARPers is a unique business because we focus on not just a single bottom line of uh, maximising shareholder value, we focus on three bottom lines. The people, how we treat our team, how we treat our customers and our suppliers, uh, the profit obviously, and then the planet. Uh, we have a company, we have a product that is less extractive on the Earth's resources than our competitors and we have a product that at the end of life actually regenerates into a, a usable commercial compost. It's interesting, when we were thinking about the business and what we stood for, we felt fair dinkum, which is an Australian term, which means um, genuine and real with everyone you deal with. We thought it was really appropriate and we wanted to run the business differently. We came into entrepreneurism late, we were 32 and young parents. So just practical things like how do you set up a company as young parents, where my wife's the president, I'm the CEO. So we had on-site daycare from before we started. And now we've got the daycare co-located with the office with 75 kids. And of course, for our product, it's a great R&D facility. <laughs> Run downstairs and test the new products out. Um, but this notion of fair dinkum, you know, how do we treat our, our team? Um, offering things like on-site daycare, offering uh, flex-friendly work hours, offering six months paid maternity leave, which in the US is quite rare, we understand. Um, all about being fair dinkum. Being fair dinkum with our customers around uh, supply chain, where the product comes from, what happens to it afterwards. It's really grounded in how we see business as a force of change in the world. Being a company that has a triple bottom line, we look after profit, we look after people, and we look after the planet. So fair income sort of embodies all that. Again, being in the US as an Australian, and then trying to, for example, move into distribution in Europe. The, the network, the YPO network is phenomenal. Um, to be able to pick up the phone and find someone who is relevant for our business, and have instant trust. As I was reflecting on last year's GLC in LA, um, which was the first one we managed to get to, um, out of that, um, great connections with new friends in Brazil, uh, fantastic um, opportunities to meet with uh, people in Japan, and so it is absolutely, it just shrinks the world. Um, and you all have sort of that same worldview about what business is in terms of its role in the world. I think it just gives you a new, it sort of gives you a personal board of directors, which I think is really interesting. I think it gives you a really broad perspective as you think about issues in your business. But I think as everyone in YPO realizes over time, it's, it's so much more about the, uh, the non-business things in life where there's enormous support and there's real power in that forum experience, in the, the fact that it's confidential and the fact that you can have conversations that you might otherwise not have. It's incredibly powerful and it, it really, ex it, it expands the possibilities of, of us as business leaders, but more importantly, as human beings, as parents. Um, so I think that's what I'd say to a prospective uh, YPO member.